Number 16, a hydroelectric power facility converts the gravitational potential energy of water behind a dam to electric energy. Letter A, what is the gravitational potential energy relative to the generators of a lake of volume 50 kilometer cubed, which has a mass of 5 times 10 to the 13 kilograms, given that the lake has an average height of 40 meters above the generators? All right. So basically, we're talking about gravitational potential energy. All right. Alarm bells should be going off about this formula over here on the right-hand side. Let me just make it a little neater. So here we're talking about the gravitational potential energy. So you could put a little g down there if you wanted. Should be equal to the uh, mass right, of the object that you're talking about, multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity, then multiplied by the height that that object is above the uh, ground. All right. So uh, we're looking to calculate gravitational potential energy, therefore we better know mg and h. So it told us the mass, right? It was nice. They gave us the mass of this uh, lake, right? So 5 times 10 to the 13 kilograms. So the potential energy, or the gravitational potential energy, should be equal to 5.00 times 10 to the 13, multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity, and then therefore, and not therefore, and then also times the height, right? That it is above a particular point. I said the ground before, which is generally the point of reference, but here they're saying 40 meters above the generators. All right, so just know that the height is, is relative. All right, um, so we plug in our value of 40 there. And all we have to simply do is simply, a lot of simplies there, because it's simple, not bad. So 5 times 10 to the 13th times 9.8 times 40, and we get a value of 1.96. So 1.96 times 10 raised to the 16. And again, it's an energy value, so it's in joules. Okay, so that would be the answer. Um, okay, so now uh, our job is, so that's letter A. Letter B says compare this with the energy stored in a nine megaton fusion bomb. So this is located, I think, in table, what is it, 7.1 in your book. So you can just look that up, but that's where this number comes from. So right, I mean, we're comparing the two so, you know, I could, uh, I'll, I'll compare it, uh, I'll compare it this way. I'll compare, um, so basically I'm going to take the potential energy, all right, the, whoops, let me make that a little neater, the potential energy due to gravity of the lake and compare that to the fusion bomb, Fb. Okay, they're both in joules, so I can make a direct comparison. All right, so this would simply be, right, uh, 1.96 times 10 to the 16th over 3.8 times 10 to the 16th. Okay, and you can plug that into your calculator. And we're going to get a value of about 1.96 divided by 3.8. Yeah, it's about 0 0.51. So 0 0.51. And if you wanted to convert that to a percent, it's about 51%. All right. So in other words, it doesn't matter if you have a percent or infraction, depends on how you want to state your answer. Uh, but basically, the that energy uh, that's stored in the lake is about half that of a 9 megaton fusion bomb. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next question. Take care.